Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Mango Peach Dank Juice from Outside Ales is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Mango Peach Dank Juice. Uh, this is part of a series. Uh, I do have other dank juices out there if you want to go check them out. Uh, this one was canned on 3-6-19. Thank you to Outside for putting dates on the cans now. Uh, from this, it does say it's 7% ABV. IBUs are not on there. Untapped is saying this is 55 and that this is a New England IPA. Uh, $2.79. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. To me, 55 IBUs is a little high for a New England IPA. Uh, from the can, uh, India Pale Ale with mangoes and peaches added. So it does not say this is a New England IPA, but Untapped does. Let's go ahead and open it, get it into the glass. Pours out like a New England style IPA. There we go. Um, head is off white, almost a yellowish from the color coming up. Small and medium bubbles in there. About a finger of head, bubbles on the side are big like bubble wrap. If we take a look at the color, hazy orange juice, yellowish in color. Can't see through it. I don't even see any bubbles coming up at all let's get a smell and see what we get most of the ones from this line have been good so i expect this with mangoes and peaches to be good also let's smell you really do get that that peach mango i get more tropical fruits and just the peach and the mango but for a new england I, uh, style ipa i i would think that i do pick up on like pineapple too maybe a little bit of sweetness in there but that mango peach together is uh what i'm picking out now i know it has mangoes and peaches in it but then there is a lower undertone of like pineapple and generic tropical sweetness, fruit sweetness in there. It, it almost smells like vanilla. My guess is that's just from my brain saying this is a New England style IPA, a good amount of that juicy fruit that's in there. I don't think they use yeah, it doesn't say. I don't think they use lactose or anything, so I think that vanilla is just that tropical juicy fruit that I'm getting. A little bit of yeast, maybe. Yeah, smells like a good one. Let's go ahead and taste. I would say juicy fruit. I wouldn't really pick out maybe peach, a little bit of like overripe peach at the very beginning, but big juicy fruit throughout the palate. You do get a good amount of bitterness on this. Yeah, maybe some sweet peach in there. Uh, that, that juicy fruit that's in the middle all the way to the back, there is a little bit of sweetness in there before you get that bitterness. Aftertaste is more like, I would say, a peach and orange rind bitterness mixed together. That bitterness is there. I would say it's around 50 IBUs for that. Body is pretty thick on this one. I think if I was doing this one blind, I would probably say this is a double New England IPA just because of that body and the amount of bitterness you're getting. Um, it is 7%, so you're getting kind of close to a double. I do get a tiny bit of alcohol in my throat from this one. Yeah. 
but overall I would say a solid beer. I probably have to go with a four out of five uh, on this one. Yeah, the only thing I would want, I would want that tropical fruit toned down a little bit if you're going for mango peach. I know you can get that peach and that mango, so I think they could tone the other stuff down to bring out that mango peach. And for dankness, I would say it's more bitter. You don't get like that dank hop taste, that dank hop aroma. It's more about the fruit in this one. Um, so yeah, I would say to be considered a dank juice, um, I, I would want the dankness turned up and that mango and that peach. Let's go ahead and look at untapped. 26 of my friends have rated this average 3.84 out of five. Uh, almost 4,500 people have rated this average 3.87 out of 5. So I am a little bit above them, but that's my own take on this. It does say sweet and juicy in the guide details on Untapped. So you do get some of that sweetness, so I think it's on for that. It's just that mango, that peach needs to be up just a little bit. Um, Jack did give it a four. Kyle V gave it a four. I'm seeing a lot of fours. I wanted to see somebody that really long in the tooth. Uh, 3.75, 3.75. Yeah, so a lot of these people are giving it a four, so there must be one that's really weighing that down. But yeah, definitely one to pick up for almost three bucks. I think it's worth it. A little bit under 7% New England IPA, where most of these are going for more. I know most of them are in a 16 ounce can, but yeah, definitely one to pick up one or a four pack if you like New England IPAs. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.